All right. Okay, well, I know this is going to be a little bit of a lighter thing to start with, but I'm going to hit you with the hard question. Nay, you came out with the pink mane tonight. How, was this premeditated for, for the for the for the special evening for breast cancer awareness or you know tell me a little bit what went into it there honestly it wasn't planned this is just my next color of glitter i'm glad that it fell on such a special night and we got the win hey listen serendipity maybe you had it going for you guys did pull out the win like you mentioned uh, ashna i have to go to you um you were out for months you came back uh early in february i would argue this is your best performance since you came back would you agree with that okay. yeah Definitely. Just keeping my confidence going, I'd say, helps a lot. So, yeah. And, and how did you do that? I mean, I know being out for a long period of time is its own where you kind of, you don't want to get cold, but you got to, you know, pay attention to the annoying doctor rules and rehab's tough. Like, what, what's something that helped you kind of pull through that process? I mean, did Nay help you at all? I know she missed some time too, so. Yes, she actually did. She gave me a lot of advice. She just said, like, trust the process, like, be patient because, I mean, obviously, you're being held back for a reason. You need to let it heal. But um, she also helped me when I got back. She's a very encouraging teammate. And the whole team was just to, like, get my confidence up when I got back. So, yeah. And Nay, let me go to you for a minute. Uh, obviously, the, the coach was talking about you guys uh, as a front court were given the goal of. 20 and 20 tonight as a group. You were a big part of that points wise. Um, how, how much of an impact do you think your presence had? You know, towards the end, Temple was kind of running on fumes with their roster there. They had they had a five active players left at the end of the game. How big were you in kind of making that process happen and drawing that attention? Honestly, um, I just wanted to do anything to get the win. We needed this one bad. Um, I wanted to get into their heads. I didn't, we didn't really like how they treated us when we were at their home court. So we just owed them one. And um, we just took advantage of what they had, honestly. Well, and you guys worked as kind of a tandem. I know you're both taller players, but, you know, Ashton, you were hitting early. They kind of pulled back and set up the opportune good, good team basketball there. And with that team concept, I'm forced to ask. Taylor Gibson tonight comes out, has 10 boards herself. How big an impact was that? How does she kind of fit into the rotation there? Man, anytime we can get a rebound, we need it. So Taylor, she, she came up big. She may not have... Um, scored as much, but we definitely needed those rebounds when she got them. Like, we needed those big time. So, good job, Tate. Yeah. Everyone played their role when we needed them to. So, that's great. Well, I'll go to the backcourt for you. Somebody else who, who didn't have the most points, but Layla Jewett had five boards herself. Big part of the shine there. You know, tell me about the backcourt in this game and kind of what opportunities. Maya got in there, had a really big shot too. Sierra hits the big free throws. I guess you guys kind of came together as a group in the fourth quarter, kind of overcome that infamous third quarter, which was still kind of a process you guys are dealing with. But what was kind of the key for you guys to get big in the fourth quarter and finish it out? Well, Coach Mester always says that we need to all give a 10, and you put team before me. So at that point, not everyone is worrying about their own, like, stats or anything. You're really just doing anything you can do for the team to get a win. So I think just remembering that and staying, like, you know, staying put together, not getting rattled by their pressure was also big. You know, there was some heated moments tonight in the game. And now you mentioned in, in Temple, there was some, there was some, uh, how you say, past events that kind of, you think that kind of sparked into this? And, and, and if so, like what kind of worked for you guys to kind of keep your composure and finish it out? Um, we just played with a chip on our shoulder. We had something to prove today. Like I said, um, we didn't appreciate how one of the players like treated us. So just to get back at them um, and send them back to Philly with an L is, Great. Be interested to see that game come up in the tournament, possibly. <laughs> um, but with that in mind, ladies, and I'll ask both of you this, and you could kind of, you know, answer it as you will. Um, this puts you guys at 500. How big is it as kind of a motivator for you guys to make sure you finish on the right side of that, having that winner rec winning record at the end of the regular season? Honestly, I wouldn't even say too much about the record. It's just about us taking game by game. I mean, going into the tournament, to me, rankings don't mean anything. Yes, we're at the bottom of the conference. We were expected to be there. That's fine. But as long as we get to the conference and we go uh, go game by game and just play as a team, give a 10, we'll be fine. I believe we can beat anybody. Yeah, throughout the season, we've gotten so much better, too. Like, a couple of the past games, we've been right there. We just have to learn to finish it. And I think this game, we finally finished it. So I think these next games coming up will be, I think we're a lot more put together and playing together as a team.